Hello, my name is Jennifer and I'm with the education team at the Midland Center for the Arts. So today we're going to do a piece of artwork that is inspired by an artist named Seurat. So you might have heard of him before or heard of the style he invented. It's called pointillism. All that means is that he used little dots to create his work of art. So during the late 1800s, a lot of people were starting to look at color and light and how we see color. And so color theory was really exploding. That's the study of color and how we see it. And during that time, something like the color wheel began to be looked at. And there was a theory that we actually mix colors in our eyes, which means that we don't have to mix it on paper or on the palette like many artists did before. So if we wanted to mix yellow and blue, we would get a color like green if we mix that on our palette. And we can actually try that out. So let me get a piece of this paper towel. You can use scrap paper. And I'm gonna get some blue, I'm gonna get some yellow, and I'm gonna mix it up. And see, I have green now. So most artists would then take the green and color on their paper. Well, not Seurat. He decided that, well, if I put those little colors next to each other in dots, we'll mix the colors in our eyes instead. So we're going to go ahead and create an artwork inspired by him. And you can draw something from or create something from your imagination. You can look outside. There's a lot going on outside right now, a lot of colors you can view, or even something in your home. Or if you'd like, you can do a portrait of one of your family or friends. So all you're going to do is take the Q-tip and make little dots. So I'm going to do something like a tree. So now remember, if I want my tree to have green, what colors do I need to put next to each other to mix them? So we're gonna put some blue, and then we'll get our Q-tip, that's all I'm using, and we're gonna do some yellow next to it. Now this takes quite a bit of time and patience for you to really make all those little dots like he did in his artwork. It also can get a little messy, so you wanna make sure anytime you're doing painting, you're doing it at a table or some area that's covered. So I would just continue with my painting. If I wanted to do a brown trunk, I may begin to put some red. We'll get some blue in there. And then we'll get some yellow. And now while up close, it's just gonna look like dots. As you look at it from farther and farther back, those colors may be able to blend. So we hope you enjoy your masterpiece. We hope that you hang it on your fridge or maybe even frame your wonderful work of art. And we'll see you next time.